Hello and welcome to Creating Seamless Textures. It won't be long before you start creating your own textures and then when you bring them into Second Life you'll notice that they're not seamless. Now whilst making a seamless texture can seem a rather daunting task, I'm going to show you how to quickly and easily make a seamless texture in GIMP in just a matter of two minutes. In fact I'm going to show you two different ways so that you can use both of those and become an expert at creating seamless textures in a matter of minutes. So first of all how do we know what is a seamless texture? Well here I have this gorgeous little rustic texture that I have um, downloaded off the net and you'll notice that when you look at it it's sort of got a fair bit of different shading. If I click on filter and I come down to map and then over to small tiles when I have a look at this all of a sudden I can see that it's got these lines through it. So if I was to take that into Second Life the way it is that when I take over to the texture tab and I then decide to apply a repeat of 2x2 two two, this is how it's going to look on my prim. So it's not very attractive is it? Let's just do edit and undo and then come to filter once again down to map and this time click on make seamless now you can see there it's quickly gone through it's actually made my texture seamless and it's done an extremely good job now if I go to filter back down to map and over to small tiles I click OK you can see here it's completely tileable so that's one way of creating a seamless texture in GIMP now just a little note that doesn't always work in fact if you've got a little bit of transparency it often makes the texture turn out quite terribly so I'm going to show you how to make a seamless texture very very quickly by simply copying pasting and then transforming it by flipping your layer so let's go in and create a, a new texture or a new canvas I'm going to make it 400 by 400 just because it's easier to work out mathematically than it is to do a 512 by 512 which is the size that we normally would use for Second Life. Okay, so I've got my new canvas here, it's 400 by 400. So what I want to do is pop over to this rustic one I've got here and go select and all and then edit and copy and pop on over here to my new, my new canvas and I'm going to do then edit and paste. And you'll see here it's pasted it flat bang in the middle. So I'll just click and I'll drag it up here and move it up here. Now, one thing you can do is come through to view and snap to grid and also view and show grid and this will just give us some grid lines there that when we go through and we start pasting our images it will actually snap to the grid lines and it makes it much easier. Now you'll notice that this particular um, texture here is still floating so I want to come down and anchor that and then what I want to do is click on new layer and create a new layer because we're going to put all these into different layers so clicking on that layer to make it active and then coming back up here and doing edit and paste and you can see here I've got my image pasted again now if I was to not go through and flip this over you'll see it very quickly becomes a texture that whilst I've pasted in four little copies of it it's not going to be tileable so we want to come up here to layer we want to come down here to transform and we want to flip horizontally and you can see there it's flipped it over horizontally and we want to anchor down that texture create a new layer and it's really going to just be the same thing we've created a new layer click on it to make it active and then edit and paste and then we're going to click and drag down here and layer transform and this time we're going to flip vertically you can see here I've vertically flipped it over one more time we're going to click on that anchor it down make a new layer and then we want to edit and paste one more time click and drag and this time we're going to go through and do layer transform vertically and layer transform horizontally because we needed to flip it that way and flip it that way and we'll anchor that layer so you can see there we've got a beautifully created texture it's completely seamless I'm just going to go through layer and I'm going to go and merge it down so it becomes one layer or actually I want to go and I want to merge the whole thing down now actually I want to bring them all down so probably the quickest way is right clicking flatten image you'll notice now it's been flattened if I want to go back to view I can come up here and take off show grid because I wanted to get rid of those little black lines so I didn't have to look at them anymore 
we'll just go back over to make sure it's seamless so let's click on filter down to map and down to small tiles and if I now bring that over here you can see there that's what our seamless texture would look like on a prim and second life so I've just showed you two different ways to make a seamless texture in GIMP I hope you enjoyed that and I look forward to seeing you in second life soon So as you can see here we've got a really nice tileable texture. We'll just pop back into view and we will turn off show grid and then what we're going to do is we'll right click over here. So we'll come here and we'll right click and we're going to go flatten image so it's now one image. And we'll just pop back to filter, map and small tiles and you can see here that it's completely tileable. So there you have it. We have gone through and learnt two different methods to make a seamless texture using GIMP. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in Second Life.